once again guys welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how you can easily install uninstall or update the drivers of your pc so let's start here you can see this start icon here you have to click and here you have to type device manager i'm going to show you both the ways manually and with the help of a free software so after typing device manager you have to click here you can also access this from the control panel here it is device manager so click on this and you will get a window like this here you can see all the devices connected to your PC all these devices this is for the hard disk display adapters and you can also click on this view and click on show hidden devices so that you may not skip anything you may not miss anything from this list now here you can see I already have installed all the drivers for my PC that is why I'm not seeing any yellow icon on these icons here you can see in this list but if you are missing any driver then you will see a yellow icon and if you are not seeing a yellow icon it also doesn't mean that you are having latest driver for any of these particular devices okay so after coming here what you have to do you have to click on this small triangle icon and it will expand like this right click on this and here you can click on this update driver software when you will click on this you will get two options here one is search automatically for updated driver software when you will click on this your PC your Windows will automatically try to download the driver appropriate driver for this particular device and in most of the cases uh, sometimes it can be downloaded like this and most of the times windows or you can see your pc may not be able to download the latest driver for any of these devices okay and if you have manually downloaded driver on your pc then you can also use this option you have to click on this then click on browse and you may find the location and you will be able to install the driver now how to uninstall any driver right click on this click on properties and here you can see this driver option here you can uninstall also uh, right now this is not showing because it is not appropriate to uninstall the driver of this particular device but you will definitely get an option here and you will be able to uninstall also now how you will check that you are having latest drivers or not this is the main concern in this video if you will look for the drivers on the manufacturers website and there are chances that they will not provide you the latest driver okay in that case what you have to do you have to download a software which is free to download and the name of the software is driver easy I'm opening it here you can easily download this from internet basically this software has two versions one is paid and another one is easy but we can install all the drivers using free version also and I am going to show you how you can do this first of all you have to download from here and after installing and you will open the software you will get something like this okay here you can see on the left hand side these options scan update hardware info tools so you have to click on scan and you will click on this you will get this option and you will click on scan now I already have scanned and here you can see two devices have new drivers so this software will automatically search for the latest drivers for the devices installed on your PC so click on scan now and it will take some time let it complete the process and after completing the scanning process you will see a screen like this here you can see if I will scroll down these are the devices which are connected to my PC which are inside my PC and all these are up to date but if I will move to the upper side here you can see high definition audio this requires latest driver although this is running right now also but uh, this device has a driver update which I can download by clicking on this option update when you will click on this 
it will ask you to create a system restore point so if you want to create one you may or you can also select this option manually create and right now I'm going to choose this option automatically create and then I will click on continue you will get a screen like this it will ask you to upgrade to pro okay what you have to do now you have to click on this icon close icon and this will start downloading the driver so let it download this driver first and then we will see how we can install this driver you have to do this manually so do not skip the video watch till the end so that you may get the right appropriate information one more information here I have checked multiple softwares for updating drivers but I find that this is the most reliable software and it's very convenient and easy to use and 100% this is safe and it provides exactly what you want okay it automatically fetch the right drivers for your devices so I highly recommend you to download this software you can use either paid version or free version so let it download this driver here and then we will see how we can install this driver manually okay guys now this is about to download and few things I want to mention here that with the free version of this software you need to work a little bit slow like you cannot download all these drivers all together you have to download these drivers one by one and then you have to manually update these drivers one by one but the thing is here that you may be so but you are going to get the right driver for your PC for the devices are connected to your PC so it makes sense to work slowly now once you will download the driver you will get option here like this so this time I am closing this right now and when you will close this you will get a screen like this basically this is where your driver is downloaded okay in the upper bar here you can see Bhatti which is basically a, a user on my PC and then app data roaming easy wear driver easy drivers and this is the driver so you can see the path from here now once the driver is downloaded what you have to do next you have to click on this small icon and you will click on this you can see here Realtek high definition audio now here is the device information also but sometimes you require to see this so that you can easily find the name of the device from this list so this driver which we have downloaded is for this device and and you want this to update then what you have to do you have to find the device name from this list so this is not difficult if you want to install the right driver then you have to go through this process I know there are different software out there in the market which can easily install the drivers automatically also but I find this more reliable than other softwares so that is why I am showing you this software and believe me guys if you will follow this tutorial it will not be difficult for you to install the driver so what we have to do we have to find the device name from the list here you can see it should exactly match then right click on this and update driver software when you will click on this now this time you have to click on this browse my computer for driver software because already we have downloaded then we can use this option click on this now here you have to find the path okay click on browse if you remember after downloading and getting option for installation or updation I closed that and I got this option okay this screen and this is the path I told you earlier so follow this it's very easy once you are familiar with this each time this is going to be on the same place so here is my computer C users Bhatti app data and it should be in roaming inside roaming folder and here you can see easywear driver easy click on this click on ok 
please check this option include subfolders now what this is going to do this is going to go inside this folder and then this folder this will automatically find you may have multiple drivers downloaded here inside this folder drivers drivers so this is going to automatically fetch the right driver for your this so include subfolder and let's see what will happen next click on next installing driver software after installing this we are going to scan once again and we will see what will happen it will take some time i always believe when you are installing something like this like drivers and software then you should always have patience and you should be very careful because this can break your pc and there can be issues inside your pc like blue screen death of error something like that so this is why i use this software because this is much more reliable than any other software here you can see this uh, the hardware you installed will not work until you restart your computer so i need to restart but i will restart later on now let's scan once again and see that if it detects without restarting my pc or not yes you can see here oh, it's gone and it should be inside this list so this way you can install or update the drivers of your pc very easily one by one and this is very reliable source and it's free the only issue with this only drawback with this software is that this is slow and this will allow you to install drivers one by one manually so thanks for watching this video please like share and leave a comment below if you have any issue with your pc see you in next video